So, um, Eric, well, we're talking to the great Eric Madi. Well, yeah. what, what, what do you do here? I want to know. Uh, well, I'm here, I'm a lecturer of geology. Uh, I lecture second year and third year in honors level. Mm -hmm. uh, lecture course of structural geology and geochemistry and uh, geology of energy resources. Mm -hmm. Now you were just in Cape Town. I've been in Cape Town for one week. Uh, came back last Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, now in Cape Town there was a, 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 a hit the a hit the worldwide news. There's some sort of what they call it a, a epoch. Now the first time I heard the word epoch was from Amokul Cabral. He's talking about the epoch of history. I guess he was talking about a revolution. But what what is what is this epoch thing? I know I I, I didn't go for the epoch uh, congress. Mm -hmm. uh, I went for the International Geological Congress. Mm -hmm. So for my regarding the epoch, maybe I maybe I, I didn't hear anything about it. Okay. Well, that's what I got out of it. Well, that's what the news was reported. But it just has to do with the world uh, basically are saying that this whole renewable, uh, this, uh, the, the fossil fuels, yeah. for so many years they didn't, get, they didn't dig them out. They never dug them out to, to such a degree uh -huh. that, uh, well, it's not good. So now I guess from the geological point of view, what, what does all that mean? Uh, fossil fuel. So you have, uh, first of all, I'm going to tell you that uh, we have two types of energy resources mm -hmm. because I mentioned that course. So you have the resources that cannot be renewed once exploited and the resources that can be renewed constantly day by day. Uh -huh. Those can be renewed like the solar, solar system mm -hmm. because the solar, that's why we have things like a uh, solar panel. Mm -hmm. uh, because the solar cannot, the sun cannot be depleted, mm -hmm. so this can be renewed every time. Mm -hmm. For instance, we have a university; uh, they have constructed new building that have been renovated. So you have a solar panel because the sun is being renewed constantly. That's what they call renewable energy. Mm -hmm. So you have other type of energy that cannot be renewed. This we call the fossil fuel. Mm -hmm. Among the fossil fuel, you have uranium, you have coal, and you have petroleum. You cannot renew them because once we exploit them, you cannot replace them. Mm -hmm. Now, they were also saying the company, well, now once, once you use them, then you have this problem of the waste, and the waste is what's... Yeah, problem of coal, especially in South Africa, you see companies like ESCOM, they took coal in order to generate electricity. So you have to burn that coal, because that coal can contain also lead, lead which is uh, harmful to the human system. Mm -hmm. It contains also sulfur. If this sulfur, when they burn the coal, the sulfur goes in the atmosphere, uh, it uh, reacts with the oxygen and there's the vapor of water in order to uh, generate sulfuric acid. And this, when it comes down again, with that sulfuric acid, it can contaminate uh, aquifers. Mm -hmm. So that's the problem with uh, renewable energies. But there was also, also, there's a certain thing, I guess they talk about the matter of greed. In other words, the, the, the people that started this, well, the companies that continue this, they make so much money and they have so much political um, influence that they're just not going to give up easy. But yeah, they, it's, uh, they're not going to give up because it's all about money. Money, money. You have these big predators, so they already focus on some mineral resources. Uh, but uh, I can tell you that the last uh, meeting on the, uh, the, well, this conference that took place in France, uh, they were talking about uh, how they can stop the exploitation of coal and uh, had already one mine in the UK uh, in a place called Yorkshire. They have stopped already mining the coal because coal is very harmful to the human system. Mm -hmm. Now everybody when they do say renewable energy, they always talk about the wind and solar. But aren't there other uh, renewables like this, there's a thing called thermal or something like that comes from the... Yeah, we have also either thermal energy uh, in volcanic region, for instance, uh, this began in Italy. You have some what they call uh, volcanic, uh, volcanic manifestations. So when there is a volcano, and after the volcano, there is always some gases that are being emitted. So this volcano can emit sulfur, it can emit carbon. So you have this thing that we call the sulfur tars and more sulfonies. Uh, these gases can be again a uh, channel uh, to the houses and produce uh, the heat. That's why mostly in European countries, so they produce heat from this uh, 
hit the vapors that have been generated by a volcano that we call a connex uh, volcanic manifestations. Well, isn't there a school of thought also that whatever is on land, you know, you have all the sea uh, activities. In other words, if there's a volcano on land, there's got to be volcanoes in sea. So that thermal thing is happening in the seas also. Can you get to yeah, that? Yeah, and sea, I think it's possible, but uh, what I heard most is a uh, volcano on land. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Well, just staying with the seas. Now, remember, we're in South Africa, which means we have actually two oceans, the Atlantic Ocean and the Indian Ocean. Indian Ocean yeah. Now, with those two oceans, there's also a thing, um, they have this uh, wave power where you they set up these things that's, uh, that's supposed to also create barrier reefs, which is supposed to be good, but the, the wave energy, which you can't, you know, no birds, you can't see it, yeah. and, it and it's very, I guess, clean. Yeah. Oh, now, we in South Africa, why can't we use these waves from the two oceans to, why can't we jump the technology and use that? Well, yeah. any... All that, uh, I think you need a lot of researchers for that. Uh, until now, I haven't heard people trying to explore the wave energies, but I believe that uh, we can do something about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. What, what, now, what did you get from the conference? What did you, as they say, what was your, I love this modern term, what was your takeaway from, the, from, 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 from this conference? I learned a lot. I especially like to attend conferences because there's still new things, new discoveries that you don't know when you're still at school and closing your office. So you have to go out to listen to people, what the new discovery, what they brought, or what the new inventions. Uh, the, cons the conference was diversified in geology. You know, geology has got many branches. You have structural geology, you have petrology, you have uh, paleontology, uh, you have uh, metamorphic petrology, you have hydrogeology, you have rock mechanics, you have all these sort of branches. So it was uh, quite interesting and uh, we learned a lot. Well, tell me something that you learned. Some, tell me something I can, I can go I, I can go to, a, you know, we drink a lot in South Africa. I can go with my drinking buddy and say, hey, did you know? Come on, give me something new, come on. No, I, I learned a lot, uh, especially in the domain of uh, remote sensing. So the application of remote sensing. Remote uh, sensing? Yeah, in order to find some minerals. So nowadays, you know, there are some techniques that we know in geology, like uh, geochemical exploration, geophysical exploration, you know, to find minerals. But uh, with remote sensing, is another technique that geologists in you uh, applying now. Uh, because with that, uh, you don't have to spend a long time, a lot of time in the field. You just stay in your office and then. Uh, uh, take thematic maps, uh, satellite images, and process them, and then apply some techniques, and then you can tell you that this place you have uranium, this place you have this and this, and then you can go in here. Oh, uh, wait, 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 no, 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 no. We, you, we just talked about renewable energy versus that other stuff that kills you, and it really seems like when I was in the kitchen. So, uh, let me put it this way. What did you come away with that, that's beneficial, that, that, that the, the, the little guy, you know, the little woman can say, hey, I can use this, you know? Uh, no, it's a. Uh, the conference was two, on two aspects. One aspect was purely scientific, scientific mm -hmm. but uh, another one was uh, how to use some techniques to find some mineral mm -hmm. exploration. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I'm talking about remote sensing. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. not only uranium, but you can also find the iron, copper, and mm -hmm. all the minerals. Oh, you didn't mention gold and silver. Yeah, yeah, gold, because <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh, that's about gold and diamond. <laughs> that's what I'm talking yeah. about. Okay, anything else? Anything else you want to say that, that, that you know? No, the, the conference was productive. Uh, you see, we have almost 5,000 for all over the world China, America, Brazil, South Africa, Congo, everywhere. Mm -hmm. So it was a huge conference, and uh, you can imagine people from all over the world, different geological environments, different mm -hmm. methods of working. Mm -hmm. So we have to know what's going on all over the world. Oh, wait, 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 let's talk about that. When you say different methods of working, did, could, did you find something that could be applied? I mean, aside from the, the, the remote um, sensing, did you find some other techniques that say they do in, say, I don't know, Peru, that you can apply here, or Brazil that you can apply here? That, did you yeah, there, there are many techniques, uh, special techniques for fun, ground waters, you see, you apply remote sensing, also you apply geophysics, uh, mainly you apply structural geology. Uh, for, for you know, for instance, in the Eastern Cape, you have the rocks that they call the Karu. Karu rocks are very dry. The, so what's it called? Can you spell it? The Karu, Karu. Oh, Karu. Karu, like Karu rocks K are very dry. Yeah. So they are very dry, and to find the ground water in the Karu is uh, not very easy. Mm -hmm. So many, many wells that have been dug before uh, were not productive. 
Mm. So you need to apply some new method, and you know that water is very important for the people, for the population. So if you find water, you find life. Mm. So if you apply new techniques, even in an environment which is very hard to find groundwater, with new techniques like structural geology and uh, neotectonics and geophysics, and then you can target some area and uh, find some groundwater mm. and give to people and to drink. Okay, thanks, Brother Martin. <laughs>